Welcome back to our class. Once again, I am Victor Odigoma Ohe. All right, in this class, we are about to look at how to handle multiplication and division in logarithm of numbers. Multiplication and division in logarithm of numbers. And I'm going to use these two examples on the board to illustrate it. This one has to do with multiplication. And this one has to do with the uh, division. Okay, there are the this is the two the two major things I want to you know show us here. Please, I need your adequate attention. All right, in the first example, quickly we have this eighty five point three times seven point two eight. So I will write number log. Okay. So this is 85.3 and this is 7.28. The characteristics of this is one point, and the characteristics of this is zero point. Please, if you don't understand this, in the introductory part of our discussion in the relationship between log, a standard form and logarithm of numbers, check out in that class. It was well explained. Please, go back and look at it. So, the characteristics of this, I told us that logarithm of numbers have two component parts. The first part is the characteristics part. Okay, and the second part is the Mantiza part. The Mantiza part, you find it in the log reading table. In your log reading table, you look for it, you go to, if you get your log reading table, of which in your examination it is given to you. So you go to your log reading table, and then, like this is 85.3, you now ch check 85 under 3. You come here, you see this, this. You look here, you will see under this this age, you will see 85. This one stop at 54 and continue from here. You keep on going, keep on going. You will see 85 here. Please, okay. If you have yours there, you see 85 here, and then you check under three. The these numbers on top of this place are there. So you follow them. You can see three. So you follow three and come down to that 85. Okay. There is their point of intersection, all right there. So at that point, you will see the number 93, 9309, 9309. So that's what you will see. So that's how to find it. I have already enlisted them out so that I can be able to move faster. So I have shown you how to get it. Now I will write 930 nine okay when i get to the one that has difference i will also show you that in case if you are not well acquainted on how to do it, get that all right this is 72 under 8 and my the 72 under 8 is 86 to 1 86 to 1 i have already written them out so that i can be faster now when you are multiplying two numbers in log reading, okay, you add, you add them, you add them. Remember, we are still going to delve into the relationship between indices and the theory of log reading. So in the theory of log reading, we are going to see the connectivities between some of the things we are saying here. All right, so this, multiplying this, we add this, the log reading of this, and you know the logarithm of the logarithm of this and the logarithm of this we add it so we are going to add this so this plus this will give us what zero carry one bring down three this is nine this is seven and then carry one that is nine plus eight is seventeen right seven carry one put it here that's two points this we are done with this now because it is multiplication that's why we add it and when you are done, I took a very simple 
problem. We are building. That's why I can't just come here now and put up one strong question like that and we start struggling with it. You have seen how multiplication is done. You will see how division will be you know, carried out. And at the end of the day, I will bring a bigger, stronger problem. Now, when we are not tackling multiplication there, you cannot be able to you know, connect from the previous knowledge we had. That is how you know, teaching and learning is built from the simple to the you know, compound, then to the complex problems. I can't just come and start you know, handling. Anyway, that is by the way. We have got this. The, the next thing, I mean, it is just this and this. I cannot find the anti log. Anti log of that. There's one more thing here. How will you find the anti log of this? Even though I have brought it out, but I'm going to also show you how to get it in case. In case you go to your anti log table. Check point seventy nine on that thread. If there is a figure here, that would be the difference. So if I am in my anti log, I have my table. I will go over to this is log reading of numbers. The next page will be anti log reading of numbers. I will check point seventy nine. So the the, the as you follow the edge, you see point 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 something point something. You come over here. You still the thing keep on going until you get to point 79 look at point 79 here then i'll follow it and go under three point 79 under three is 6209 6209 because there is no other figure here if there's another figure here like five i'll still follow that point 79 under three which is 6209 let me write it out six Two zero nine. Then I will follow that same line. Point seven nine uh -huh, under three. Yes. Then I will follow, assuming there is this place is five. I will follow that same line and go to the differences. And under five, any figure I, I I get there, I will put it under here and add them up. So because there is no figure, there is zero. So I will work with this. Now I have written this out. What is the role of this? What is the role of this? Let me please explain it. Anything you see here that is zero, one, two, and the above, add one to it. And that will be the number of counts you are going to count to put your decimal point in this figure you generated from the anti log reading table. I hope that explanation is taken. Let me repeat it again. Anything you see here from zero, one, and above, please add one to it, and that will be the number of counts you will do in this figure you generated from the anti log reading table so as to put your decimal point. This is two, add one, it will be three. I'll count one, two, three, and put my decimal point here. This is my answer from this simplification. I am sure it is well taken. I'm sure it is well taken. All right, let us quickly go to the next one. I don't know whether that space should be enough to handle it. Because your interest is my priority. Let me do it over here. B. I have that one eight four point eight all over it. Point two. Now I will write number and then log. Okay. And I will write one eight four point eight. And here I will write six point two. The characteristics of this explained in the last class is two point, and the characteristics of this is zero point. So I will check 18 under 4, difference 8. I have explained to you how to find it. So let me quickly, not wasting time, take the one I have with me. The one I have with me here is uh, 2667. 2667. That is the value of 18 under 4, difference 8. 
I've told you what to do to that difference. When you bring that difference, when you go to 18, under for any figure you see there, follow that line and go to the difference. Any number you see there, add it to the one you have already. That will give you this. All right. What about this? 62 under 0. 62. What did I generate from that? 62 under 0. 0. Okay. 7924. 7924. Okay. I've kept them already so that I can move faster. Now, what is going on here? This is division. And when you are dividing two numbers, you subtract their log reading. When you are dividing two numbers, you subtract their log reading. So we are going to subtract these two numbers. Okay, 7 minus 4, 3. This minus 2, 4. 6 minus 9, not possible. Take one here, put it here to be 16. 16 minus 9 is 7. Because 7 plus 9 will give you 16. So 7. This is 1. 1 minus 7, not possible. Take one here, put it here. It will be 11. 11 minus 4 is... 11 minus 7 is 4. This is remaining 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. Put your decimal point. You can find the and log, which I have explained to you how to get that. If you have critical problem, not understanding how to get this in your table, you can you can message me, you can drop a message, then I can help you personally on that. You have critical problem and understanding how to get this on the table. Maybe the explanation I gave is not enough. Drop a message. In the message section, I will chat you up and then we'll handle it. Okay, all right, so that I can move faster. Um, the anti log of this is you go to the anti log reading table 0.47 under 3 under 4 difference 3. 0.47 I have already got that to be 2981. 2981. Okay. Then the role of this, as I explained earlier, is any number you see here, add one to it, that is not bar, not carrying bar. When I come to the ones that have bar, I will also explain it. That's why you need to follow us as we proceed in the class. Okay, because there's, there can be a case like that. Oh, all right, now this is one, I'll add one to it, that's two, I'll count one, two, and put my decimal point. This is the answer to this problem. All right, the next class I'm going to take us to now, we are going to look at multiplication, division. The next class we are going to now, we are going to look at powers and roots. Powers and roots, how to clear them. Now, after that, we are now going to advance further into handling problems that have all of them embedded in such a question. Thank you so much for being there watching our video our class all right please if what we are doing here is good don't be stingy look at that button that subscription button there or I click on it it's very very simple why do will you do that it is for you to be notified when we make further upload and to support us in what we are doing please click also on the notification button and share to your friends out there share it send it to someone to help that person even if you are not the person that will necessarily use this you may might have someone that will need it what would you do to that person okay and by so doing you are contributing to the development of humanity thank you so much i am victor Edgoma. by here god bless you